Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not. Welcome to my plug for Shaolin Soccer. Warning, I will only say the word soccer when referring to the film's title. Oh, fuck, I just said soccer. Damn it! This plug has been brought to you by some guys rapping about Star Trek The Next Generation and fucking. Captain Picard loves to get his dick hard. His bald head will make you sweat. Cause he's a French motherfucker with a tasty baguette. And when he's not sipping tea at a Parisian cafe, he's busy banging booty every night and all day. But what can I say about Shaolin soccer, apart from the fact that it really should have been called Kung Football? It's probably the most well-known of my plugs so far. At least in Europe and the USA. This is the film that got writer, director, star Stephen Chow noticed in the West and led to his biggest film there, Kung Fu Hustle. But before these films, he had a long and brilliant career in China, where he made the classics A Chinese Odyssey, Man from Beijing, and Forbidden City Cop. Many sports films feature insane stories and physically impossible action, but few run with it with the joyous abandon of Shaolin Soccer. It's the story of a Kung Fu master who was talent scouted by a disgraced ex-footballer and is convinced to try his leg at football. He enlists a gang of his old friends who learned Kung Fu alongside him. They form the Shaolin team and take part in the Chinese equivalent of the FA Cup. Or the Super Bowl or something if you're an American. After destroying team after team with their Kung Fu powers, they take on the brilliantly bluntly named Evil Team, managed by Patrick Zeng, who has a long-term rivalry and hatred for the coach of the Shaolin team. The evil team has similar powers and abilities as the Shaolin team, but are powered by imported American drugs. No look at Shaolin soccer would be complete without mentioning the team's goalkeeper. He's a walking, talking Bruce Lee reference. He's got the shades, the look, the haircut, the outfit, and best of all, the moves. It's a hilarious film, but not all the jokes translate into English. For instance, I have no idea what this character is about, or why Stephen Chow's love interest suddenly goes from looking like this to looking like this. Karen Mock and Cecilia Chung's cameo is similarly bizarre, but they're still hot, so I've got no complaints. Shaolin Soccer is my second favourite Stephen Chow film after The Amazing God of Cookery, which features, I kid you not, an epic martial arts Iron Chef battle stopped by the gods. I might do a plug for God of Cookery later on, but till then, do yourself a favour and find it. Shaolin Soccer is hilarious, mind-blowing, and unlike anything you've ever seen before. Unless you've seen other Stephen Chow movies, and unless you've seen it before. But if you've already seen Shaolin Soccer, then why are you watching this plug? In a word, Shaolin Soccer is awesome. This plug has been brought to you by some guys rapping about Star Trek The Next Generation and fucking. But don't forget about Council Troy, that beta zoid will leave your dick destroyed. And don't you bother screaming or squealing, cause she knows exactly how you're feeling. Until next time, go to hell. Shaolin Kung Fu Sing, ho ho yeah. Shaolin